Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be working with the Pen F and the Creative Dial Color Profile Number 2 and Monochrome Profile Number 2. Now for lenses, what I have is I got my kit lens 14 to 42. But I also brought along one of my favorite lenses, this 35 millimeter CCTV lens, which is about $35 on Amazon. So uh, what I like about this lens is it gives a, a nice uh, out of focus effect, like a little bit swirly, a little bit soap bubble like, a uh, very vintage look. All right, so I switched over to the uh, 14 to 42 kit lens with the uh, wide angle adapter. Um, I've talked about this wide angle adapter in other videos. But uh, I love this little setup here, the kit lens with this wide angle adapter. It's really a cheap way to get uh, a nice wide angle lens. Now I can't see anything like this, maybe. I don't know, maybe something like this. I was trying from the other angle. Oh, I like this, wait. Let me back up a little bit. Let's try like this. There's a Smurf in the window. Did the best I can with that, I don't know. There's a church over here or something, so we're gonna try that next. I need to come out more and talk to these guys that are just on the street. You know, I just, you know, gave them a dollar or two and then took their picture. Next time I come out, I'll do a little vlog with them and talk to them and get to know them a little better and share that with you guys. But tonight I just, <laughs> I'm still trying to get my street legs, you know, so that I'm not so shy when I'm going around. I've been going out all week practicing with this creative dial on the Pen F in monochrome and color profiles. I tried some Fuji uh, classic chrome imitations. And I really like sometimes what I got and other times not so much. But that day when I went out and I did the Kodachrome, everything looked good to me because it was so new, right? But now, now that I've been actually out taking pictures like this, I'm getting more picky. I'm like, I don't, I don't think this color is quite right. Let me tweak it a little bit. I don't know how you street photographers do this because a lot of the shots that I see that are really cool are like you're kind of high up on a bridge and you're shooting down. And I'm like, I'm like eye level with everybody <laughs> on the streets here. And it's like, let me tell you, you get the stink eye sometimes. Hi. Really? Oh. I really like the, the couple shots I got and I, I, I'm curious to see how these are gonna come out. I mean, you guys have already seen them, but I, you know, at this point in time, again, I have no idea <laughs> what they're gonna look like. And I tried to do some, uh, I tried to do like a stealthy shot where I set up the uh, self timer or custom timer to kind of automatically take pictures. And then all I'd have to do is just kind of point my body in the right direction. Uh, but that didn't turn out too well because the little uh, autofocus illuminator light kept blinking, even though I had it turned off in the menu. You know, I don't think it was far from here that I saw the unicorn.
you know, I thought what I'd try to do was uh, just try to find my car without the app. And then after I got out a little ways, I said, I better stop and check. And then turns out I overshot it by like six blocks. Finding I have to dial in negative one to negative two exposure compensation on a lot of the shots. I mean, otherwise it's just too gray and everything's washed out. Let's see if I can do a foreground. I don't know. So I've been, I've been working in the uh, Olympus workspace, uh, the free software you can get from Olympus. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can get a picture of this, uh, this ambulance maybe. I don't know if they're gonna come all the way down here though. They might, I doubt I can get a picture though. It's a fire truck. Too slow. <laughs> they are booking though. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Not bad for manually focusing on the fly with my little pinky here. I just kind of quickly twisted it. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna work on that Olympus Viewer software because it has the color wheel in it, just like on the Pen F. So no matter what Olympus camera you have, if you've been shooting in RAW, you can, uh, dial in the same color profiles that I'm doing here, even more because you can adjust the hue and the luminance and everything else that you can't do in the pen F. All you can do is really control the saturation. And once I get those coded in uh, or programmed in, you know, some of the ones are like, I'll show you what they look like and then I'll put a link down so you can download those.